The Defense Technology Institute DTI, of Thailand conducted trials on its D-Iron RCV robotic combat vehicle for the Royal Thai Army RTA, in Saraburi Province from August 22 to 24, 2023. This occurred approximately 18 months after Milrem Robotics in Estonia delivered the foundational system to DTI in Thailand. The vehicle is constructed based on the Themis Combat UGV platform developed by Milrem Robotics in Estonia. The DIN UGV is a collaborative effort involving Thailand's Defence Technology Institute DTI, the Australian company Electro Optic Systems EOS, and the Estonian company Milrem Robotics. This vehicle represents a DTI-funded integration of Milrem's Themis UGV platform, which is equipped with EOS's R400S MK2 Direct Drive Heavy Duty DHD, remote weapon station. The Themis UGV has undergone extensive testing and is currently operational in several NATO countries and other nations across the globe. This UGV serves as a versatile platform that can be customized for various tasks, including reconnaissance and patrol, anti-tank missions, countering improvised explosive devices, facilitating communications, and supporting logistics. It can also be equipped with multi-caliber weaponry. The D-Iron features a tracked platform with a spacious central compartment capable of accommodating a wide range of payloads, with a stated capacity of up to 1,200 kg. It has a maximum speed of 25 km per hour. The platform, excluding the R400S MK2 weapon station, weighs 1,630 kg. The R400S MK2 can be equipped with a variety of weapons, ranging from the lightweight M230 LF 30mm autocannon to anti-tank guided missiles. DTI initially unveiled the D-Iron RCV at the Defense and Security International Armament Show in November 2019. The vehicle is armed with an R400S MK2 HD remote weapon station turret from Electro Optic Systems EOS, in Australia and features a Northrop Grumman M230 LF 30mm machine gun from the United States. The armament has undergone testing with live ammunition under both daytime and nighttime conditions. The vehicle underwent a series of challenges, including navigating challenging terrain, steep inclines, crossing wide ditches, and traversing deep water. These tests align with the evaluation criteria established by Thailand's Ministry of Defense Armament Standards Committee, and successful completion could pave the way for mass production within Thailand. The primary intended use for the D-Iron is within the Royal Thai Army, which currently lacks a similar capability. DTI is positioning the D-Iron for various missions, including border surveillance and counterinsurgency efforts.